Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Justin. You're watching The Tall Guy Gamer. This is part four of my Subnautica Below Zero uh, Let's Play series. Uh, having a blast. We are ready to go look for the last known position of the pilot, the uh, crazy lady who was in the prawn suit and attacked us on the island. Uh, so if you like the video, you know what to do. Otherwise, let's get it on. Let's go. What's that? I haven't explored this, have I? Oh, there's stuff right under me. This is like, uh, reminds me of Jaws, right? Shark cage in the water that's all tore up. Oh, what's that? Mineral detector. Let's say I have that already, right? Flares, they give you a lot of freaking flares in this game. And I honestly don't plan on using a single one of them. Down here. Got that already. I haven't had to really make much food and water yet. They've uh, given me an ample supply in my current journeys. Hold on. Before I... There's a cable right there. I guess I should follow that and see it. Oh, never mind. It ended right there. Well, that... That was a quick trip. I thought to myself, maybe that's going to lead me somewhere, but... It doesn't appear to lead anywhere. Never mind. I do have a new microphone here. I don't think it sounds, uh, I think it sounds good. I don't know if it sounds significantly better than my other microphone, but it does have a better pop filter shock mount situation and I got it on a new arm, so it's uh, more convenient for me. Well, that's what matters, right? Everything for the streamer, not for the audience. You know what? I also just want to dive down here. This, uh, area what do I want to call it I don't even know what it's called but it goes down really deep like where I was talked when I went and got the Allen guy there was some really deep areas down there and the Fred guy in that one audio log talked about losing all of his cargo like in this trench or something like that I think well I don't know if that's a hint that I should be going down here for a bunch of cool stuff but I also don't... Oh, I'm running into stuff. I don't know if I can go down here. Yee. Spooky. Getting spooky. Can't go much further. Or at least not in the sea truck. About at my limit. God, what am I hitting? Oh! What the hell was that? Oh, look at that. Oh! Yeah. Look at my shadow. Hey, woo, Peter Pan. Oh God, pay attention. There's there's things out here. Oh. Oh no. Oh. I scan him. Squid shark. Squid shark. Oh, there we go. Just follow him in a circle. He's so dumb. Come on, scan, 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 scan. Hurry up, scan him before he turns around and bites me. Whoa. It doesn't seem too dangerous. He didn't get a hold of me, but uh, he's kind of dumb and slow, to be honest. Not that I'm going to let him put me in his mouth. Got to try to keep my distance, but... Oh, I saw something down here. There it is. What is that? Oh! Oh my god, he's right behind me. Holy crap. Oh! Dude! Aggressive. Ooh, diamonds. Is it a C 
Sea Truck Fabricator module. Uh, keep thinking I see a shadow. Oh yeah. Oh, there he is. He's creeping. Looking for me. Sea Truck Storage module. That's different than the one I just found. Fabricator module and storage module. Uh, I'll keep an eye on the oxygen there. Yeah. Go, go, go. Ooh. Not like a uh, Reaper from the first one, but uh, still enough to get my heart going there. Oh, there's there's something right there in front of me. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. You guys are loud. Loud sharks. Ooh, look. Ah! Uh. Ah! Hold on, I'm trying to explore here, man. Oh, oh, juke him. Who's just gonna grab these? Gel sack. Cut one up, get a seed, right? Yo! Good lord. That gave me the chills. I got goosebumps on that one, guys. Get the goosebumps. Hide back here. Go away, dude. Come on, I'm just, I just want to scan things, man. Could you please go away? You're incredibly annoying. Ooh, diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. Storage module. So is that just like a whole, like, sea truck compartment that's nothing but storage? I guess. Sounds kind of cool. We go. I have the whole recipe. Save. I'm not taking any risk with a bunch of useless death. Ooh, and then the fabricator. So what the hell does that mean, too? Like seeing the first game. God, where is it at? Thought I heard something. Uh, the first game, you could put like a fabricator on your cyclops. So are you telling me in this game I can't just build stuff inside of the sea truck? I have to have special modules. Is that what we're saying? Oh, diamonds down here. Oh god, I need oxygen. Uh, let's see. Where's my truck at? Pay attention. Not paying attention. Behind me. Yeah. Oh, he was right there. Look at him. Not so bad when I'm in my truck. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this seed truck right now, as opposed to my old sea moth. There's a, there's a, literally something right below me. What is that? Storage module. Got that already. We need the fabricator piece. My inventory is getting full. Well, maybe diamonds aren't so rare. Maybe I don't need to pick up all these freaking diamonds. That one. Fabricator. All right. Lithium down here, too. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else down here important, but I'm getting out because my inventory is already full. And I just gained two new blueprints for things. Out of here. Can't see. Well, that's a tight fit. Can I get out of here without crashing everywhere? Mesmerizing. All right, I guess I need to go dump off supplies and then we'll go to the pilot's last known position.
I would say that was a fruitful endeavor. I didn't even know what I was going to find down there, but it turned out well. See, that's the, that's the secret. Both Subnautica games, apparently, once you get over your fear, it's just all about diving deep. Go deep. That's where you're going to find the stuff. Wasn't even that deep, either. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, drink a little water. Uh, that's enough. Swap batteries if I can remember my controls. One of these days I'll swap the battery successfully. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to... I'm trying to avoid it as long as I can. But I'm gonna have to build a much bigger base and expand on this thing. I mean, not that I have filled all these lockers, but quickly going to fill them all up with crap. We don't need three med kits on me. I don't need those many food blocks. Uh, and flares. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with flares. I'm going to drop them on the ground outside. Because I don't need any stinking flares. At least, I don't think. <laughs> I say that, but... I literally might end up meeting flares for something. I don't know, because I haven't played this one yet. <laughs> but I know in the first game I never used flares. And unless there's like a, a recipe that takes flares later or something like that, I don't know why I would need a flare in this game either. I have a flashlight. I have a sea truck. I don't need flares. What? Is that the... That's the same one I already looked at, I think. Uh, referring to that cage and the uh, weird electrical wire coming from it. Oh! What are you? He's got some flappy feet. Look at his big old flappers. wonder if we could scan him safely. Unsafely. Oh, he's, he's coming right at me. Look at him. He's meaner looking. I don't know. He doesn't look any meaner than the squid shark, I don't guess. Does he? Oh, good lord! Oh! Oh! Juke him. Crypto what? Crypto succus? <laughs> I don't know if that's how it's really pronounced, but that's what I'm going to call him. The succus. He is a angry little fella. Oh, good lord, guy. Aggressively angry. Nobody didn't have their coffee. God. Take it easy, man. Purple. What is this? Whoa. This more succus. They sounded angrier, but I don't know what this stuff. Does this stuff hurt you? Oh, sounds like it did. All right, I will avoid that, I guess. Well, I don't know. I want to get out and scan some stuff. Can I scan any of this stuff? Ragged pitcher plant. As I said the last time I did play this a couple weeks ago, I am not reading all of these things on stream unless it's requested of me by the audience because it takes a long time. Humor roll. I will read them at some time at my leisure. Off stream probably just because I could easily gain some information from them that I'm missing right now, but Okay, nothing else interesting apparently. A bunch of succuses moving around. Cryptosuchus. Maybe that's how it's really said. I don't know. Not going to concern myself yet. Whoa! It popped like a balloon. Detecting stone of an astronautical Soltrans Cove vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. 
inoperative. There's a ship nearby, is that what she's saying? Oh, oh! Never mind. Very clearly obvious that there's a ship nearby. Holy crap! This thing is huge. Ooh, metal salvage. Remember that. Hello, giant ship. Guys are loud. When I say these guys, is that more Sosukas? Something else out here. Eh. Looks like the same guys. Oh, do I go in the ship? Do I want to go in the ship? I want to go in the ship, I just don't know if I need to go in the ship. Especially since I keep getting distracted from my thing that I'm going to do. Oh my god, this thing could be huge. There could be crap everywhere in here. Ooh, food and water. Always food and water. Uh, What is that? Fine fish? But still, guys. Oh man, look at this. this. Like I said, this place is probably effing huge, guys. Good god. I get lost in here in a heartbeat. As I keep going. I keep complaining that I keep going. Oh, there's a big old hole in the wall. Okay. Um, we're not going to explore this yet. I'll keep it in the old noggin. It's obvious that... Uh, there's a lot of stuff there that could be a big exploration point, but I don't want to get off my current plan. Okay, it's like a like broken half, like the Titanic. That was the back half. There was thrusters on it. Is, is the front half like here? Like I keep going. Is there two parts of the ship? That stupid question. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Um, I'm gonna guess he's friendly, right? I didn't see these last time I was playing, did I? I'm guessing he's like a gentle giant, like a whale, right? Or is that what I'm just telling myself? God, he's moving fast. Or like, I feel like he is. Very dark around here, too. Glow whale. Sounds like a friendly name. Oh my god, I can't see anything else. As soon as I'm done scanning him, I'm probably gonna get eaten by something else. Interact? What does that mean? Oh, I'm riding him! hey -oh. Take me, whale! Well, I don't know where you're gonna take me. It looks to me like you're just gonna run me into a frickin' rock! If you're riding these guys, I guess you probably don't get attacked by, uh... those other predators, right? That guy's too small to attack this big dude. Alright, th this is getting me nowhere. Oh god, where's my sea truck? Oh, it's right beside me. <laughs> I almost had a panic attack. What is that? There's so much stuff to scan in this game. It's not even funny. Adolescent lily pad. There's the baby lily pad. Or the adult lily pad. This thing... Is, is this going to like jump out at me? What the hell is this? Why does it look like a... The top looks like a sword. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the hilt and handle of a sword like pointed down, but then it turns into four uh, nutsack seeds, so... It's obviously not a sword, but... Alright, it's getting a little spooky around here. Blooming raindrops. Newt fish. I like that name. Yeah, newt fish. Nope, not scannable. Looks pretty big to not be scannable. What's this? Sea truck aquarium module for an aquarium module for the sea truck. Why in the hell would I need an aquarium on my sea truck? I guess like a mobile source of food and water. Oh, squid shark. Unless that's a stupid uh, thought. I can't think of any other reason I would want to take. Holy crap, what is that? Is that a satellite dish? I think 
making up channels? A fallen lily pad. Yeah, I guess a mobile source of food is the only thing I could think of a practical application for a aquarium, but that also seems kind of dumb. Can't I just, you know, take supplies from a grow Morning. bed? Surely the game isn't remaining. the game map isn't so huge that you need to take food with you. What is that over there? Oh my god, guys, like information overload. Everywhere I look is something to scan. to see that thing. I guess I should have drove my truck up here instead of abandoning it. Well, this is where I just was, right? Yeah, this is the same piece of the ship that I was investigating earlier. I think. Yeah, because there's that salvage and there's the jets on the back or whatever. Look at this thing. It's like a... It's like a squid. Juvenile Vent Garden. There's a whole lot of juvenile and adult and whatever. Look this ship thing is big. Well, I still want to know if I can find the other half of this ship. The rest of it's just gone. Oh, whoa. Tree Spire. These little guys. These guys are colorful. Oh, it's getting real deep down there. That's real deep. Anybody else hear that? There's some freaky deaky noises coming from that direction. I'm getting back this way. Get to the truck. Get to the chopper! I don't need anything eating me. Oh god, thank god that's a whale. Thank god those guys are friendly. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, alright. Let's, re let's recalibrate here. Okay, so there's the big fat ship that we were looking at. I, I still want to keep heading that direction. Of course, it seems to be that th uh, that is the direction that my pointer is pointing me anyway. Well, maybe there's not the other half of the ship anyway. I, I assumed like the front half would be somewhere, but maybe not. Her last known position is right here. Okay. Sea monkey nest. Check that out. Got something cool in there for me, dude? Maybe he does. What is that? Looks like engines. Sea truck afterburner upgrade. Holy crap, what is that? Noises. The squid. Whoa! Oh. Sorry, dude. I was just scanning your nest. It's all cool. Ooh, rubies. Nickel ore. Aw. Oh, nickel is a giant bean in that. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very nice of you. Titanium is not really what I need right now, but I will not look a gift horse in the mouth. Very appreciated. What the? F this area goes deep, too. We need frickin' upgrades for this depth module, man. Okay, so her last one position was like, was like right here. I mean, that doesn't really help me, right? What's this? Big metal links. They look like a, uh, oh, you know, whatever, the precursor, the alien technology or whatever. Well, it just ends in a broken thing on this side. Follow the light. Maybe that will lead me to her. 
Either that or her last known position there right there. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. You mean this? Well, this one just ends in a broken piece, too. What is that? Is that a light? It is a light. It's a light. Ooh, uh, ooh. What a base. Seek fluid intake. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Surrounded by fluid that I don't want to intake. Right? See the irony there? Vital signs stabilizing. What is that? Window. I'll scan a window. Could always use windows. We got here. Antenna plant. I actually fruit. How good is that fruit? Twenty food. That's a rockin' fruit, man. Need to plant some of those bad boys. Maybe that's the new marble melon. Can I can I Oh I can. Yeah, baby. Okay, I don't have a grow bed though, so I guess it's useless at the moment. Uh, no. oh, oh! Someone else was already growing! Yes, please. Look at this. Nice. Swim charge fins. Oh, look here we go. Omega Lab. Okay. I remember seeing that on a map before. Hydrochloric acid. Why why did I just get that? I don't understand. There's nothing I just did that I think should have triggered the the gaining of any of these. Any of these four. Like what did I do just now that triggered those other than coming to this lab, I guess. Bulkhead. I remember they don't have unlimited oxygen in here. Oh man. What am I, what am I looking at? Ooh. Control room. What the hell is the control room? All right, I gotta go get oxygen and come back. Bring my sea truck over here. I feel like I'm getting loaded up here. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. So is this a control room right here? Multi-purpose room glass dome. That's kind of cool. It's stupid. Why is the screen always on? I never pay attention to that screen, and then, and then the white light like washes my face out completely. I let it go for hours before I notice it. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. So first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track model, had some sort of bad implement. So somebody attacked the lab? And then if they did attack the lab, I don't understand the second part. Is she saying that they then blew the place up? Or whoever attacked it blew it up? And they say bacteria. Any bacteria escaped. Are they messing with the Kara bacteria from the first game? Plus, I thought we cured it. If we released the Sea Empress babies or whatever, 
around the planet I thought would have cured everything of the Quran and it wouldn't even exist anymore. Water filtration. See, the water filtration, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I find the water filtration like useless if you can grow plants that give you plenty of food and water. It just doesn't make any sense. Anything else scannable? What is that? Aromatherapy lamp. What the frack would I need an aromatherapy lamp for? I think there's a lot of uh, people that decorate their bases like crazy in these games. I've never been one to do that hugely, but who knows. Maybe we'll have some fun with it on this playthrough. I'm always too busy exploring and learning and being scared and the above. Power cell charger, nice. We've studied the first Kara bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research, it could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study, using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original postules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Hmm. The first Kara bacteria sample from the specimen. So they are studying Kara. And then the Leviathan site must be protected, so uh, the specimen must be some kind of Leviathan. Ooh, that doesn't sound promising for me. Nuclear reactor. Nuclear waste disposal. Why am I talking like this? Anything else cool in here? This, this room's dirty, jeez. that something was scannable oh really it triggers from that far away the vending machines are just decoration right you can't uh ooh, art it's a lot of art in this game what's that postcard Wish you were here. Hey, Tiger, I miss you a lot, and I can't wait for both of our assignments to be over with. Delta 6 has been an amazing opportunity. I never tire of watching the sunrise and sunset over the black sands of the Chirazane Desert. It's beautiful. The only way that it could be better is if you were here. Loving you across the stars. Well, look at that planet. That place looks a lot more friendly than 4546B. I mean, it's got land and buildings and, I don't know, pretty stuff. How come I gotta be on this planet? If nothing but water uh, and death. Danny's not here, I'm afraid. That's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Harab, but Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder. <sighs> right, fine, fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan here in this lab? Please don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. Okay. So Vin is up to something funny. Mutating the bacteria. Now I missed something. I missed something. My voice log, Alan, was going to ask me something. That installation was a biology laboratory before it was destroyed. Do you think it could be connected to your sister? That's it? She didn't respond? And say, maybe, or yeah, or no could have said anything 
the hell is that? What was that? This is green crap. I challenged your spy pengling to a foot race earlier. Because you got tired of losing to me? Ouch. <laughs> what if I've been letting you win so I could see you smile? Cute. But I don't believe it. There are easier ways to make someone smile. Easier than losing a foot race? Oh, I think you're a woman with many talents. What are you implying? The artwork that appeared in my lab the other day. Oh, that. A study in Parhelion Red. I assume you had something to do with that. That depends. Do you like it? It's beautiful. Like the person who gave it to me. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were flirting with me. Do you know better? I don't know what I know anymore. Not when you're looking at me like that. Ooh. Same with Danielle. Hitting it off. Got the picture. What is... Fortunately, I assume they're all dead. So that sucks. Just an assumption, though. I could be wrong. All right, I don't see anything else here. Okay, so that was uh, part four of my Subnautica Below Zero Let's Play series. Uh, we just got done exploring the Omega Lab, found some cool stuff. Got more stuff to look for, that's for sure. If you guys have any feedback, positive or negative, please leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a like. It helps me get discovered. And if you want to see other videos or get alerted when I have post other videos, then please subscribe. No matter what you do, I appreciate you coming. And as always, thank you for hanging out.